in 2024, they're Delulu, which is short for delusion. Like Delulu. Delulu. See, that's kind of this fun. This chick's Delulu. Nice. You're it's, mad Delulu. It's fun because it sounds mega gay. From the world of fashion, there's a designer brand in the UK. It's called Jordan Luca, who is selling these pre-stained jeans that make it look like you peed your pants. What the hell? <laughs> there you go, Greg. Let me, I, okay, uh, yeah, that's what picture I Picture for you. You can check it out. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God. Uh, they're only $810 <laughs> a pair. Why did anybody wear that? Uh, and wow. they sold out as soon as they went on sale on their website. Idiots. I'm telling you guys, we're missing a giant... Because we have these stories every six months. We're missing a giant opportunity to make $800 for a uh, pair of jeans. Yeah, right? They have a lighter wash, too, where the stain's not as obvious. Now, that uh-huh. version was on sale for around 600 bucks, but uh, those are gone now, too. So, look, save yourself a ton of money. To, yeah, just, I looked it up. Walmart sells jeans for $13. Ah. That leaves you plenty of money to pick up a Dr. Pepper or the drink of your choice there in the checkout line and then just make the pee stain yourself. But think about the OnlyFans page we could set up. Right. This pair of jeans was peed in by Ravy. Kind of like Cameo, mm. yeah. but where, where you see the, the this jeans is a making Greg process. This pee jean. Oh, and then we could yeah. do like a pee pants. Pee like, like you yeah. just had your yeah. pee yeah, period. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be an offshoot of um, our pee, of our pee pants. Like PG yeah. and pure pants. That's for our ladies' line, right? God. But <laughs> it'll be ironic when dudes wear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it'll make it look mm-hmm. like like oh, dudes yeah. got their period. Right. No, nice. we could do a capri <sighs> version. That'd be cool. See, man, peed capri. in these yeah. jeans. Now, Greg, these are some updates in the world of slang. Okay. According to the Gen Zers, if you're over fifty and you use any of these terms, you're so cringe. Ha. Uh, okay. The most uh, outdated acronyms and terms are. LOL, that's number one on the list. Okay. Like if you text that to somebody, you text someone LOL, you quote, look like a boomer, even if you're not. All right. This All right. is directly from Gen Zers. We're to uh, stop calling things fire. That's already lame. <laughs> yeah, Menace. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say fire anymore, you Menace. Can, you can say it ironically. They say lit is back in style now. Whew. Thank God. Nice. <laughs> Love lit. <laughs> I love I'm much, lit. I prefer lit. <laughs> but I didn't leave us. Yeah, uh, lit rules. Stop calling things gross. Oh. Ick is the preferred Ew, term right now. That's cringe. Ick. I don't know. I don't I think like any like, grown person should say Ick. yucky. Yucky. Don't say yucky. Well, they shouldn't say yucky. Yeah. I think gross is funny. I also don't like it when adults say, that's mean. <laughs> or you're mean. Like, I don't know. That just seems like something like a little kid saying, you're mean. Me. It's not you're yeah. wrong. It's just I don't right. like I don't yeah. like how right you are. Uh, instead of okay or KK, some people will say okay. KK. All right. Okay. Uh, you're supposed to say bet because that's the same thing. Like, All right. Bet. You bet. Okay. Yeah. Bet. Yeah. It's right back. Bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yo, know, Greg, you'll really get him on that one. Like, wow, yeah. Greg's so young and cool. I, I really can envision myself yeah. using bet, bet a lot. Dude, I have a friend. <laughs> Every other word is bet. All right, bet. But he's right, like, bet. is he your age? Uh, he's younger. Okay, good. Well, my 14-year-old son is the same way. <laughs> yeah. Bet. 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 Yeah. Bruh. All right, bruh. Yeah. Bet. Cap. Yeah. Cringe. Uh, let's see. Don't say... Are you writing these down? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm keeping notes. I can read <laughs> I it. I want right to make sure I'm not going too yeah. fast for you. Yeah, don't use LOL. All right. Fire. Oh, uh, by the way, somebody said Walmart jeans rip really easy. Yeah, they're $13. <laughs> <laughs> go to the first, go to the Goodwill then. They're not made for bucks. a lifetime? Uh, don't say dis... Menace, okay. you don't say diss. What do you say? Don't say diss. Yeah. Um, when you want to disrespect somebody, but you don't yeah, want to Yeah, it's not a diss. It's a what? Talking ish. It's a clap back. Oh. Uh, oh, Ravy's been saying that for years. Clap back is in? Right now is it back? is. All right, Ravy. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is yes. just according to Gen Z. And I always thought, Fantastic. She, I always yeah. thought she sounded lame and I could try hard when she said it, but no. not now. No. Thank yeah. you. Look yeah. how cool she they're is. Coming, cool. They're Greg, copying me. Officially cool. <laughs> Greg, let some of that rub off on you. Over I here. will try. All right. You're going to stop calling people cray. Like crazy people are not cray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In 2024, they're Delulu, which is short for delusional. Like Del- uh, Lulu. See, that's kind of fun. This chick's Delulu. You're it's, mad Delulu. You're it's, mad Delulu. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun because it sounds mega gay. Bet. I knew Greg yeah. would like that one. Yeah. Oh, he's so Delulu. You like that one? I like. I. Th- I, I wow. Do. Whimsical. Because we found a slang word that you're not like repulsed <laughs> I by. I do because you're not trying to sound cool by saying it. You're being <laughs> silly and dumb. And cutesy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not saying, oh, I'm not wearing a cap on my head. What? What? Right. Huh? No. Uh, okay. You sound seven, whimsical and hella gay. Yep. 714 says, ah, to be young and retarded.
<laughs> bet. Uh, we don't say the R word. Wow. It's called Riri. Retarded. Yeah. Riri. Jeez. Instead of YOLO, you're supposed to write D I F T P, which means do it for the plot. Like you're the main character in your life, so don't avoid things. Do what it takes to move the story along. Mm. Huh. That seems like a bit much. It's yeah. Dumb. yeah that's, I don't like that one. It's a reach. We are no longer LMFAO. We are now J, I'm saying I J B O L ing. So, <laughs> yeah. I, so, I no J-B-O-L. more laughing. Yeah, right. Itch bowl. Oof. So, now, yeah, now it says I just burst out laughing. I J B O L. I mean, at least that's more accurate out than right. L M F A O. I'm not buying it, though. I-D-B-Y. Did you really just well, you burst say out laughing? Well, you laughing my effing A off, right? I mean, that, but you're yeah. not. I D. I mm-hmm. don't believe you. I D B. My A is still attached. But can't, isn't that uh, is that the same as you just burst out laughing? Yeah. So yeah. why change it? Yeah. 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 Just you know, it's a classic. That's or how about like, <laughs> leave it alone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or we're not supposed to LOL, right? I mean, yeah. right. you don't do that. No, you don't want to. Not if yeah. you want to be cool. Also, we are no longer rolling on the floor laughing. No more R O F L. Oh, no. Instead, you just send a skull emoji. Ooh. Oh, I have a oh, like. Oh, it's yeah. so like, funny. You like, just died like laughing. Ah. Dead. Since we're uh, yes, we're talking emojis. I noticed that Sammy doesn't really use emojis in her text when we're talking about things. I don't. Are you, are you anti emoji? I don't use a lot of emojis, but the one I will use is the skull for dead. Okay. And but that's really that's mostly very it. Very cool of you. Yeah. You're yeah. Cool. I'm, yeah. I'm so cool. So you are plugged in, girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a text here saying, how about using wild for everything? That's wild to me. Can't say crazy. That's wild. I do notice uh, in this one podcast I listened to that one of the hosts will say, yeah. it's wild. Everything mm. is wild. Uh, don't use the word great. And if you do, certainly do not shorten it by spelling it G-R and then the number eight. Just say, I'm sorry, Greg, you're writing really I, fast. I am. Just say that slaps. Oh. Yeah, oh. Slaps. Oh. slaps. We've been what? using slaps. Slaps was yeah. like five years I'd ago. Yeah. Nope. It is. Well, so was lit. Lit was a thing, and then it kind of went away. I'm Everything happy that's all do again. Slaps. Lit became clap back. What lit readers, became fire. Yeah. Became lit again. What Reader's Digest list are you reading? It's <laughs> not. It's a Gen Z thing. I want to hear the source. Yeah. I will find you the source. Let's bring a Gen Z in find here. Are you saying it. this lit is not lit? Well, like again, because it, it just referenced two things, like gravies, the yeah. clap back, and then uh-huh. the sla- slaps. Slaps. I know 30 year olds that say slaps. They're not cool. <laughs> okay. This Uh-oh. sandwich slaps. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would love a sandwich that slaps. Oh, yeah. And easily understood acronyms. Okay. Acronyms go. Okay. What good housekeeping list we got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Country Living Magazine. Country Living. <laughs> uh, when and where to use to them. <laughs> what's hot, what's not. Outdated <laughs> jargon. Making way for the new. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, methodology. Cur- curries? <laughs> it's a UK thing. Oh. See, it's overseas, so it's yeah, automatically. It's, they're just finding out about smart. it. It's automatically fancier. Right. It's well, anything that we've got. It's cooler. It's I think better. London slaps. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's got the ocean running through it. Let's God's go. It's so lit. Let's go. All right. Welcome back. We're just doing like a, an impromptu open. I mean, the, the phones are always open if we're talking about something or you want to bring something up, you can always call in. But uh, it's been a while since we just said, all right, we've cleared out of the lines. Phones are open. You can call in about anything you want. Could be a question for the show. Maybe something we can help you out or something you're curious about or just uh, something that you want to uh, bring up, something that's on your mind. Right. You can do that. 877 Woody. You can also send your text with whatever you got to 22987. We give out those two numbers all the friggin' time. But this is like, you know, this is all for you, this particular segment, whatever you got. Uh, I got a question here, a couple ones. Uh, 562 says, has there ever been a time where someone on the show was legit mad at another person on the show and they had the full-on fake being cool just for the sake of the show? Love you guys. That's from uh, Amber. Being cool. Yeah, like if uh, two people were ever like legit pissed off at each other, or one person's pissed at the other person, then we go on the air and you know gotta play nice. That's Probably. Nice. Yeah. Well, didn't that happen with Greg? Numerous Greg times. definitely. Yeah. But especially back in the old days. Yeah, in the old days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, look at it. I think it happens to a certain degree all the time. You have this many people, mm-hmm. right? Who spend this much time together. You definitely are like annoyed, and you have to go on the air. But like full on angry, angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's like, been great. I don't think Mad. so. Yeah, because a lot of the legit mad stuff happens on the air. Right. It's not behind yeah, the scenes yeah, stuff exactly. where it's like, F you, no, F you. All right, welcome back, everybody. But I mean, right. pretending to be okay, that's kind of daily, depending on your mood. In, in you know some way, I mean? shape, or form. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're not feeling well, right. or right. something's or going something on, you're distracted your by something in your personal life. I'm right. trying to think of like an actual argument off the air. Right. Yeah. Nothing's coming to mind, really. Only Nothing like hardcore pissed. Yeah. yeah, that's mostly a management thing. It wouldn't be intra show. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, here's a question off the text: A listener uh, getting married has a question: Should he invite the dads to the bachelor party? Oh, uh, mm. I wouldn't. Depends on what you got planned. <laughs> yeah, that's what but I was thinking I, yeah. too. If it's lame and you're just going, you know, shooting darts, then we're, yeah. gonna, well, we're gonna go to Hooters, guys. <laughs> right. Like, oh, ooh. Ooh. Is crazy. Doing some kind of like fun top golf experience. Like the dads can go to that yeah, stuff. Yeah. The strip club, nah. then it gets weird. Yeah, but yeah. the strip club seems so played out. And right. How old are you? Yeah. How mm-hmm. old's the dad? How old are the dads? Right. You know, that's the other thing. Oh, great question. Yeah. Because this part, if I'm, let's say I'm getting married now, I'm right. Forty-seven, and what are we gonna mm-hmm. do? Invite like a couple dudes in their seventies? Right. <laughs> But your dad's your dad still throws down. No, he does, oh, but he's also younger us. compared to like you know. And he would love I've, the strip I'll club. Be, he probably would like your the strip dad club. Would yeah, love the strip club. <laughs> yeah, he probably would like the strip club. <laughs> yeah. But like that's the thing. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do a strip club. Like, well, yeah. What would you yeah. even do today for a right. strip? I wouldn't even yeah. do a strip club. I mean, unless it was like just happened to be there. I just like mm. dinner, drink, go to a mm. bar. Yeah. Maybe Manny Petty. Yeah, I would, maybe top Manny golf Petty. or something like that. I would really just want to just handpick the people so it was just the best possible hang. Right. Like the best mix of people. So it wasn't like just a bunch of obligation invites. Yeah. That people don't necessarily get together. Yeah, you want people that want to be there. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I never thought to invite the dads. That's yeah, I've never, oh, never, either. never crossed my I mind. Mean, unless they're I've like seen that before. Yeah, if they if they had like their maybe <laughs> the mom's dead. Like, and they just don't have anything to do. Maybe, like, maybe the mom's yeah, dead. Yeah, maybe the mom's dead. I can see it as a pity invite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like if one of your dads is like Frank the Tank yeah. and just goes hard. Hey, John, uh, you know how your see. wife's all dead? You want to go to- Come on, yeah. hang you with guys. You want to go to a strip club? Cheer you up, I heard, I heard <laughs> Candy's working tonight. <laughs> She's you know, good. Yeah. On a kind of widower and stuff. All right, what about uh, Salvador? Good morning, Salvador. 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 Hey there, good morning. All right, well, morning. We're, we're, I have a question for you We're all. giving you the floor, yeah. Anything you got. Okay, I want to know um, what scientific breakthrough do you think we will see in our lifetime? I think oh. we'll see. I legitimately believe that we will see, well, in our lifetime, yeah. Um, I think we'll legitimately see a, a cure for most cancers. You know, not all. Gotta, I mean, there's going to be, right. you know, what, what's the one that's like, Almost immediate death sense, pancreatic like cancer, pancreatic yeah. stomach because it's found so yeah. late. Yeah, right. But uh, I think we're going to find yeah. a cure. There's going to be some kind of cure for most cancers. So yeah. the way that uh, it seems like, who who doesn't know somebody who's got yeah. cancer or who's had mm. cancer or who's died Can't find from that person or who's right. died from cancer? Well, we already yeah. have that cure. What do you use? The big pharma is hiding well, it. Well, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. I think the side effect <laughs> of that gatekeeping. The side effect of that we're going to also see that. You know that people live to a crazy yeah, the, yeah. number. Oh, I don't you know, want that. that. We've never yeah, seen I think that too. Yeah. Well, so what? What, the, what about flying cars? Flying, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, saying we got the that's where it's cars, critical 70s. mass. I don't think I'm going to yeah. see it like in my lifetime, where like no. that's how you know even that's half of just the, travel. Yeah. The right. Jetsons. Yeah. What? Uh, what about you? What scientific yeah. break breakthrough do you think is going to happen in your lifetime? I think we're, I'm going to see. Well, we're going to be able to see um, bionic arms like prosthetics that can like move like the Neuralink stuff. I really think mm. we're so close to yeah, that and just that being really able to move. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's like the that's stuff that, really close. that Elon's working on. A lot of the press around yes. that is, uh, you know, people that, well, great. You're going to be able to control your computer screen with your mind, but they're not thinking about the people who are paralyzed and what it's going to be able to do for people to right. be able to like walk again or, mm-hmm. you know, exactly. mm-hmm. that's, you know, that, that's the thing that people go, Oh great. So you're just going to have your phone implanted into your head. And that's uh, now, short side to people. Right. 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 But just the idea that yeah. they can, uh, somebody maybe, could walk again. Yeah. I mean, how Would about the fact that they grow, amazing. they grow organs and yeah. in yeah. labs Yeah, and they're getting better. That's so, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Especially now with a, I mean the yeah. AI thing I've read a lot about how that's just speeding up the process. AI and quantum mm-hmm. computing. Cause yeah, instead yeah. of, we talked about this before. Like instead of stumbling on a discovery, like oh, this chemical, let's right. what yeah. could it do? AI, yeah, AI will tell you. Exactly oh, here's a problem. I can give you the exact chemical right now. Here's how you make it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take yeah. all the information ever. Yep. 
gathered and then process it instantly. Yep. Salvador, thank you for thank you. the call. Appreciate you listening to The Woody Show, my friend. Thank you. We love. We love. 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 All right, here's a question. Would you rather get a week vacation every month or an extra paycheck every six months? Week vacation. Vacation. Yeah, vacation. vacation. That one seems that so easy. The easiest, peasiest. Peasy. So you only work you only work three, three weeks, weeks a month? Out oh of every God. month. Uh, Rip. Every fourth week, <laughs> that'd be awesome. You're is off? a vacation, I and I know some listeners will be like, "Oh, you guys already get that like, for two no. extra paychecks." <laughs> just thinking about it, I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sounds so good. I have to go to the bathroom and clean up. <laughs> yeah. And you uh, need a new chair. Yeah, I'll give you one more question. This came off the text. Uh, what's a subject that you could talk about for hours? Oh, oh home dork stuff. stuff, definitely. What would you say? Like home stuff. Home stuff. Real estate design. My answer is so lame. What's yours, Menace? It's super lame. My friends and I go off on like cameras and video editing stuff for like hours. <laughs> <laughs> Camera. Yeah. See, Bass? Oh, I was actually I was on a road trip recently. We, I could talk about like the history of uh, comedy and stuff like that, mm-hmm. especially yeah. related to what mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. Sammy? Honestly, Disney. Oh, All the nice. movies, the parks, everything, just the ins and outs and Lady different things. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fox in the house. I know a lot of people like you. Oh, yep. It's total Beauty and the Beast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Hours just on yeah. Belle's dresses. Yeah. <laughs> mine, is, mine is so lame. And it's it's basically work, radio. Yeah. Oh, like, specifically, yeah. You can talk about radio for days. Yeah, mm-hmm. specifically radio. Right. Mm-hmm. So dumb. <laughs> but... It's, it's what I spent it's most of my line. life. Yeah. It's, it's so easy. It's, it's your love. So easy. Yeah. I, I had a radio guy staying at my house, and yeah, we yeah we talked about it for like seven hours. Like what the hell? Straight. Yeah, and I know it's not that interesting to anybody else, you know. But mm-hmm. if you get together with like another radio geek, oh, it's over. Oh my it's god. Over.